All right, here are your weekly Dragonflight or War Within reminders. Hey, it's all, and you can help support the channel by liking this video, subscribing for more WoW coverage, and of course, catching me live on Twitch. The July trading post is in as of like now, which is great. If you're like me, you're tender broke, and it's sort of thanks to my making some, you know, some pretty bad decisions in the previous month, if you can call the surfboard a bad decision at least. Whatever the case, when you log in today, maybe consider something that you want to freeze first so that you can save it for later and then go ahead and spend whatever you like. Just be sure to not spend too much, although of course, hey, it's totally your choice. The Midsummer Fire Festival event is still happening with only so many chances left at obtaining the Wild Drake armor appearance. Funny enough, I haven't heard much from social media talking about this, maybe because the appearance wasn't a big deal, but well, neither was the Noble Garden drop and people were railing over that grind. I, by the way, haven't got mine yet, but what was your experience this holiday? Let's go over this week's events. The pet battle bonus is in play, and this time European Realms will get to enjoy a Super Squirt Day on the 5th, where you can super power level your beloved pets before tossing them into the auction house. Haha! <laughs> Arena skirmishes are in play, as well as the Temple of Hot Mogu, where you grab the power up and all of a sudden it's a death sentence, so the game is to get everyone else killed before you. It's the week of Abrus on the Awakened Rotation, meaning the last hurrah quest will have us crack open a suffusion chest, complete a time rift, and a researcher's under fire event. I'm kind of starting to lose count here, but I think it's a full bullying week, and well, all I'm getting now are appearances, so hey, thanks Blizz for giving me a reason to run Raid Finder on multiple characters. And over in Mythic Plus World, the affixes are tyrannical, storming, and raging for keys 10 and higher. It's pretty nice. I finally did keys for the first time in a few months, and you know, it went okay. I was humbled by a Brackenhide 6, but it was otherwise a good learning experience. So tyrannical storming shouldn't feel so bad at all for us outside of a, I guess, a few very specific mechanics where I want to stand in a certain place and, you know, then I'll have to plan my movements, or uh, maybe I'll just let myself get tossed around, I guess that's okay. I've been busy this week, so I've been pretty casual about my transmog farming. I think my plan will be to, in fact, mostly stick to jumping across raid finders during this great farm since there isn't a lot of travel. What I've noticed though is that I've been looting quite a bit of stuff, including BOEs that may or may not have value. Today I'm going to mention an add-on that I featured before, although unfortunately it'll soon lose a lot of its usefulness, but at least right now it's a lifesaver. It's called Wardrobe Tools, and I'm going to share my very reckless and disorganized configuration here. Once it's installed, go to your mailbox and open it up. There's a chance that your UI skin won't let these buttons up here be visible, so you can see that I switched off my Trade Skill Master skin. Anyway, click the arrow right here to open up the Wardrobe Tools settings. You can see various armor and weapon types, and the text box on the right indicates where you can name a character to send any of these items to in case they're not already sold bound to you. Obviously, I made a choice with sending all of these things to a single character because, well, frankly, I'm pretty disorganized. And if I'm going to send a lot of potential junk somewhere, I'd rather send it to one source first and then decide what to do with it later, as opposed to logging on to multiple characters only to do the same thing. The add-on only works with gear, but what I've typically been doing is immediately throw other junk just straight to the auction house. It's, it's kind of like a black hole where all sorts of random stuff eventually gets eaten up and I get a little bit of gold. As we wait for more news bombs to drop, I'm going to do a little project with respect to the continuing discussion on Pathfinder in The War Within. A lot of folks really don't like the idea of being forced to complete the main quest line and do exploration in order to learn Steady Flight. So I'm going to try leveling without any flying at all, see what it's like, and I'll get back to you. And as news drops, you'll hear from me, so be sure to keep track by subscribing to the channel. Like the video, catch me live on Twitch, and let's have Bob close us out. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. You start in town, get up all the weeds, then you head down, check the donors, but there aren't any. A circle round the aisles, helping rabbits for a while. Do a hut, cook, soup, and some bounties. You and for some dungeons, stopping the visions, helping the dragon nations. But in the end, you're just a gamer, you're just trying to get the big reputation. Big reputation. Ooh, you and me were farming big reputation. Ah, that's the thing we're really trying to do. I want some trash bombs. Done.